Yo, what's going on guys? Vayne got a massive buff. Like seriously, it's really OP. You should definitely be picking and banning her. They buffed her passive, her Q, and her W, making her an absolute monster. So her passive gives her more movement speed when moving towards enemy champions. Her W does more percent based max health true damage, and then her Q has higher damage scalings. If you're gonna pick Vayne, you wanna ban Teemo or Vladimir, since Vladimir tops pretty uncommon though. The Teemo ban is best. We're up against an Alistar top. Very weird matchup. I think we don't want to push against him. And then we should be fine. I took Exhaust just because Exhaust is kind of OP. We have Ghost for long drawn out fights. Team fights or just long chases. It should be best against what they have. Early on, I wouldn't actually mind having Swifties. I think Swifties are kind of cracked on Vayne. Although attack speed is really strong on her. Mobility is the most important thing. Because if you're getting CC'd or if you're poorly positioned... You can't auto attack anyways at that point. So I need to get the lane. Press the attack feels really good early, mid, and late game on Vayne. Plus they just nerfed lethal tempo. So we have press attack, triumph, alacrity, coup de grace with bone plating against Alistair since of course we have to be inconvenienced with this combo. I'm just going to push him off the minions a little bit here. Against... Uh, Kind of slower paced matchups. You can get away with free boots on Vayne. You can go for a taste of blood. Or first blood. Whatever they call that. One that heals you in the domination tree. We're going to auto auto Q. There's our press the attack proc. Lots of damage on that. It's a very easy trade pattern. The closer we stand to the minions. The easier they are to last hit. Now with our W. It's going to synergize really well with the press the attack. We kind of need to crash the wave now. Third wave on the cannon wave is when you're looking for the dump, typically. There is the true damage and the press the attack. Got it. Very nice. That's a press the attack. <laughs> true damage again. As you can see, he's kind of out of health. I need to get my word down. I'm about to get ganked here in a moment. He's probably going to flash on me. We'll just float in autos kind of slowly. Get out of that one. He's low-key about to die. I didn't auto him, so he didn't get much out of that. We're going to auto him down. He's screwed. We're going to auto into Q. We're moving too fast. That's game right there, not going to lie. He has red buff burn on him, so I can't get underneath turret. The exhaust made him do no damage. Ghost makes it easy for me to juke his attacks. His wave's going to push to me. This is a permafreeze. He has one more range creep than me. I'll hold his wave. You see how it's stacked? It's all going to hit. His He got a full two, like, two volleys before my range creep since his wave was packed up in a tight formation. And he already had a minion advantage there. So this should still push to me even though like I'm last hitting it. And he's not. He's not really getting to farm at all. Alistar top is viable. It's not great against range champs though. It's best against melees. Yeah, his wave's gonna push out crazy hard here. We're gonna go back into the bush after hitting him so we don't soak minion damage too much. I'm gonna auto him Q away. Need to thin it out a little bit. We also wanna make sure not to push super hard. Bit of a tight walk. Mainly just attacking what my minions are about to kill. You're mainly just going to look at what your range minions, range minions are focusing. Since their autos have a long float time in midair. It's easy to see. Like a ball that's traveling really slow. Your range minions also do more damage than melees, of course. Got him with an auto. We'll back out. <coughs> I don't want to full engage because he has a lot of minions there. Those minions are doing a lot of damage. He's dead. I don't, I don't know what he thinks he's doing. We're going to auto into Q. Down he goes. Yeah. He just can't trade with us. He picked an unwinnable matchup. I can reset and grab this wave. It should still be pushing to me as well. He has minion advantage. I think it's still technically reinforcing first from his side since it's slightly closer to him. We'll go ahead and grab tier 2 boots. Yes, I know it looks turbo cringe to get Swifties. But Swifties are really inexpensive. It's 200 gold cheaper, and they're faster. It does what I need. 
they have Jarvan slow, Ash slows, Lissandra slows. And the, with the way the Alistair stun works, he needs to stay within proximity to auto you after it's pro like ready to use. So I can get out of Alistair stun as well. He's trying to finish dumping the wave, that's fine. He had TP, so he got back to wave to lane really early. Absolutely cannot pick Alistair top against ranged champions. It's miserable, especially when Vayne kills your jungler. If I had lethal tempo, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that play when I got ganked, but since I... Oh, wait, press attack. Yeah, if I didn't have press attack, I wouldn't have been able to do it. Because I wouldn't have gotten Alistair that low on health. Since they just nerfed a lethal tempo, lethal tempo isn't that great for range champs. It's, it's honestly a kind of hit or miss now, but with press the attack, we can auto queue auto or just auto auto queue and get off crazy damage. Already 217. We've only used it like three times. Three or four, maybe. I'm gonna walk him down here with our passive movement speed. He's not able to quite get that there. Now we run him down. That's pretty good. He used flash. I didn't really use anything for that. I'm happy with that. I need to get wards down. We have control of the wave, so I'll get down control ward now. Get down a ward here. We'll go harass him. I can knock him out of midair with my E. Auto E. Yeah, there goes his R. He is doing some pretty crazy damage to me with his minions. He's actually about to kill me. I am very, very low. Got him out of that. And down he goes. Get him with the ghost. I knew he was going to try to combo me since I was so low, so I immediately started my E, and Vayne's E counts as like a knockback, so it canceled his headbutt dash, pushed him out of it, and then I auto him down. I'm going to stay for as much of this as I can get. Auto Q reset. I really want the plate, though. I saw the Jarvan's bot side. If I didn't see Jarvan bot, I wouldn't have stayed for plate. I have my wave crash, so this wave will rebound back to me, thus he'll miss golden XP, and I won't have to worry about a freeze or dying. My team's actually losing pretty hard right now, That it's a close game all in all. We could go for Bork Rush or Shield Bow Rush. As long as I have some form of life still, I think I'll be fine. The only way Alistar can kill me is with two or three Electrocutes. But with life still, he can't do that very easily. <laughs> Our win condition is staying alive. Flash might have actually been better this specific game because the Jarvan cage. If Jarvan R's me, I'm not going to have a way to get out of it. I have to watch out for him big time. His combo's on cooldown right now. Oof, like look at that minion damage, dude. They do so much. It's actually kind of gnarly how much damage they do. I have to thin this out massively. He's wanting to obviously push it. Auto into Q. I just wasted my E. Now you can look for the combo. Vayne E is such a high cooldown as well. It's an auto reset. It applies your W. But yeah, the cooldown is very, very long. The mana cost is also very, very high. Vayne's biggest weakness is a top laner or a split pusher is she doesn't have a way to push the wave quickly. She has zero AoE in her kit. So she can only hit one target at a time. I'm going to try to hold this where it is. Even though he's really far behind, he still has very high base damage and AP Alistar has been buffed a lot this season. They've given him two or three like patches of buffs so we still have to respect his base damage output and his hard cc jarvan's going high damage as well and i am very squishy when you go for bork it gives you more kill potential than shield bow rush however it leaves you much squishier i kind of have to push now my wave reinforced first 
So my, mine's gonna push out here 100 percent. So I might as well just push with it. Auto Q reset. You can put your Q into walls or structures, basically things that you can't walk through. You can put your Q into and it shortens the Q animation and pinch off the damage slightly faster. Nice, look at that damage. Auto Q back. I canceled that one since he's stepping forward so aggressively. Not bad. Still very positive trade for us. He's on refills. He also went for Bramble. It's kind of interesting. Still not 100% sure where Jarvan is. I want to flow an auto in on it. Oh, Jarvan's mid. Auto and Q back. Give me the true damage. He's just not farming. Like, he's going to fall so far behind after I spend my gold. When people play that way... They're not actually behind until you spend your gold advantage. Like right now, I'm only so far ahead, but when I base and get my full item, full item advantage is super, super gnarly. That's why it's power spikes. It's not linear. It's based on when you spend that gold is the main thing. Auto Q back. I don't want him to flash and knock me up once I take turret aggro. So I, I want to get out of the turret range immediately like I'm doing there. Because I know that's exactly what he's waiting for, is for me to draw aggro by hitting him. And then to CC me. I played Alistair top myself. I'm quite familiar with its uh, kind of trade pattern and win con. He wasn't in range for the headbutt. Jarm doesn't want to come back because I'm so far ahead and Ali's behind. Yeah, he's literally just dead. Auto E. Oh, no. No. I thought my true damage would kill him there, but it didn't. All that work, and he just got 600 gold off me. Two kills worth of gold. And I wasted both sums for that. I was going to do what I did last time when I swoop in with my ghost and get that last auto attack i should have ard i haven't actually really ard yet this game it gives you a little bit of extra ad i still don't think you would have died but would have been closer that sucks oh well it is what it is you live and you learn don't ever die him there's no point he was gonna lose wave after wave after wave after wave after wave guaranteed but uh, i greeted out i wanted less than I was going to get like 200 or 250 gold since he had zero kills, zero assists, and already had a death. But I did it anyways. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. I don't. I still don't think he's going to be a full item. And if he goes Thorn Mill, that's not really going to be very good for him. I'm just going to keep him underneath turret, but I'm never going to commit to really taking turret shots because his CC is too much. He can hold you underneath turret forever. They buffed turret damage two seasons in a row now. Yeah, he's going full armor. I see G4's bot. Oh, I took a turret shot. Feels bad. All right, I'll hit turret then. Very cool. He's not able to farm. All he's doing is getting XP from it. You're dead. And you are a goner. Nice try. Very... Well, it honestly wasn't that close. Because I was moving really fast off R. Yar gives you even more movement speed than your passive gives you when moving towards champ. So there's no way he was going to get away even if he had flash. Jarvan still doesn't want to come back. I don't blame him. Not one bit. I need shield bow for the tankiness. I'll probably end up getting Titanic as well this game. For once again, the tankiness. I'll take this. Slow down Jarvan's completion of his jungle item. If you take away the large jungle monster in a camp, then they can't really finish it very well. That is how it works. Ooh, I might be able to get his red buff here too. My buff would feel so good on main. 
So I'm already moving fast into them, and then they'll be slowed as well. Auto Q, auto. Auto Q, auto. Nice. Go back top here. Alistair's about to suffer. I'm not underneath turret, friend. He loses all of his health. I lost pretty much all of mine, though. I actually have to leave. I'm missing too much HP. Like, even though he's low, I'm further up on the map. It's easier for them to rotate into me. I already got the red buff and Krugs. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. I don't have to stay. We can reset. I'll go for shield bow, then I'll pick up Titanic. It's tempting to go for Kraken. It's kind of greedy though. I don't have a Lulu or a Yumi, Ivern, Morgana. I don't have anything to really keep me alive, so I have to keep myself alive. I can come. I can come for next drag and we win the fight. But for now, it doesn't really make sense for me to group. They have a lot of AoE CC. I'm like Morga R, Jarvan R, Jarvan Naka, Lissandra. They have a lot of things they can hit me and my teammates with at the same time. Meanwhile, they have absolutely no one to match me in a split. Who's gonna match me? Jarvan? Ash? Like, who's gonna solo me? Nobody. You can certainly go for Flash and Ghost. You don't have to go for Exhaust. I just kind of like the way Exhaust feels. I like the slow on it. Yeah, I'm really fast, friend. Goodbye, Alistair. You cannot outrun Vayne, even with the headbutt. Vayne's basically the fastest champ in the game if she's moving towards an enemy champion now. They're going to have to revert these. This is just way too strong, in my opinion. Auto, E, auto. And I'm dead. There's not much counterplay for that. If they're going to drop triple R, I still got a kill. Like It sucks to give them 550 gold total there, but like, what am I going to do? I guess I could have left. I'll get shield bow, try to play for drag fight. I need to get a QSS at some point because I can dodge the Jarvan knockup as long as I don't get Liz R first, but I can't dodge the Liz R. That's a big stun. I was CC'd for four seconds there. So she hit me with her R, she got me with snare. Ash hits me with R, Jarvan. <laughs> I think Jarvan got me with knockup. All right, got the shield bow. I can take a hit. I mean, we have bone plating. 51 less damage. The next three spells and attacks receive 51 less damage. So we, in theory, take 150 less damage if I get hit repeatedly. For a second and a half. Oh, Jax really just did that. He... He went ravenous, which is fine. But he should have gone for Merc Treads. He didn't go for Green Jungle item either, so... I don't know. <laughs> this game's actually ridiculous. Alistair doesn't have to do anything. His team can just do it for him. I'm dead. What's my counterplay? Like... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Jax just got hit by one more snare and died there. Because they still had everything for me. The enemies are going a little ham right before Dragon Fight. Maybe Jinx can clean up here. She just needs one or two more autos. Nope. Couldn't find it. They gotta stall out the Dragon though. Dragon is key here. I'm gonna come for Dragon Fight, but then I'm not grouping. The Jax is going to be completely useless in team fights. Like, seriously. Zero tenacity. No Merc Treads. No Green Jungle item. They can kill him without even having to use really anything. Like, they can hold Liz R and Ash R and just save that for me. I don't have much counterplay against that. Down you go, buddy. Get him against the wall. 
auto in the curie set. And I got it. Nice. We got dragon as well. That's big. Ash, you're not strong. You only think you're strong. Okay, never mind. She's actually really strong. <laughs> I needed a Q reset against the wall. She actually killed me, dude. No way. <laughs> you think you're strong and then she kills me. Insane. And I lose my Herald here. That sucks. Do we go for Phantom or Rage Blade? Mm. I think the movement speed from Phantom is actually more useful. I'll go Titanic for the split push, though. I don't think I'm necessarily lacking damage. I would rather have Tiamat Titanic for split. Sucks I didn't use my Herald in time. That's my bad. Ash is the most fed player on their team. Seven kills. Very high damage. They just buffed Ash as well this pack. So they buffed Vayne. They buffed Ash. I don't think Ash needed it. Vayne did kind of need a buff, but they went way overboard in her buff. I think they're trying to sell some Vayne skins. I'm going to R into this guy. We'll walk him down. He slowed from Bork and I'm sped up. Oh, cool. Ash R. Ha ha ha. That's so much fun. That's so much fun, dude. Ash R. I love Ash R, dude. It makes the game really fun. The hitbox is too big. There's no way to really dodge it. How am I even supposed to get in on that fight? Oh, wow. I guess that's how. Okay. Cat is just cleaned up. We can take Baron. Jax blocks with his E. I'm going to auto Q reset. Jax keeps blocking with E. Auto Q. Vayne is the perfect champion to do Barons with. Very high single target damage. So is Jax. He blocks with his E. We don't even need Kata here. Nice. Holy moly. I'm going to need to... Uh, why did she say AFK? They don't have an AFK. Maybe she's talking smack against someone on my team. I could go for more life still here. That wouldn't be bad. I think it'd be better to just finish my Titanic. I'd be tanky from that. Nice R Ash. Tumbled out of that one. Oh, she said Cat's getting a free ride. <laughs> I mean, a little bit. Their comps are definitely stronger than ours. If Jax were to have gone Merc Treads and Green Jungle item, I would say our comp was better. But if they hit him with a single Mork Snare, or a single Ash R, or a single Lissandra R, he just dies. They don't have to stack CC on him. I should have probably gone for Unflinching instead of Overgrowth. Overgrowth is somewhat low value for me here. 180 health. It's only like one auto attack from Jarvan. I'm going to play split heavy here. I have team at. I'm tanky. I'm pretty quick. All in all. Oops. Missed the cannon. Feels bad. Actually missing a lot of CS there. Don't want to get hit by the Ashar, so I'm trying to stay mobile. These guys are farming so much. I mean, they're typing so much. Ali's dead if we go for him here. Oh, that's bad. I did get the kill at least. <laughs> did get the kill. We'll see if it matters. It's looking like it won't. Jax just cannot move, dude. I'll CC for four seconds. We push for Rage Blade from here. We have double on hit with Titanic, Bork. I guess it was their W. We were triple on hit, so yeah, Rage Blade would be really good. Could go for QSS. Tough call. 
QSS or Rage Blade. Alright, I'll go with QSS. If we lose Hex Tech, I'm fine to be honest. Yeah, we don't necessarily need the drags, but it'd be nice to have them. Alistar was push up so far, I didn't think I was gonna run into Lissandra immediately. Like, right when I stepped into that bush, it was do or die. I'm gonna get back on the split. Need to get some pressure going. Oh, Jax needs to come farm. I'll leave this for him. Yeah, we literally have to come to Dragon. I actually just had the worst condemn of my life there. Down he goes. I might still be able to get to Ash. I get my R extensions from kills and assists. Hey, Alistair. You probably should have kept running, my dude. Yep. Alistair should have kept running. Got the Ash. That got really messy, though. Her damage output was insane. Maybe I should just go for race <laughs> uh, I'll get QSS for now and then I'll finish going for Rage Blade. It's going to take a long ass time to get it. I need 2000 gold. So much CC, dude. There's no way to play this game clean. I could go for Merc Treads. Merc Treads wouldn't be bad. So we're kind of out of the lane phase. Is that our best move here? QSS and pick up mercs. So what am I at? How much gold is that costing me? So I'm at 500. Now I'm at, oof, so basically cost me 500 gold to swap it. That's not worth. I'll just keep it like this for now. Because if I QSS properly, I'll be dodging or expunging a lot of their CC anyways. Alistar needs support item? No, Alistar top does not build support items. That's not how it works. I gotta get back on the split. Ash almost died so many times there. If she had just died, they all would have died. I think we were focusing Alistar too hard, like my team. I couldn't get to Ash, but I think Kata could have swooped in and possibly gotten her there. All R for this. Auto ER. Oh, cool. Come on, boys. My Q isn't going forward for some reason. Down they all go. My QSS was super late. I did it once the uh, CC was almost off me. But every time I was queuing forward there, it like, wasn't going forward. It was really weird. It was just like queuing in place. If Alstar, if any of them are caught out, they need to just let him die. They can't follow it in. It's not going to work. And that should be GG's. What a fun game, man. Good times. We'll take a look at damage dealt, damage taken, and runes. Looking at damage dealt and champions, we had the most in the game. Looking at damage taken, we had the most in the game. And yes, I know if I look at self-mitigated, we won't have the most. So we're not going to look at that. I'm just kidding. We'll still look at it. I think it's going to be Alistair and Jarvan for self-mitigated. Yeah, Alistair and Jarvan. Big surprise. And then for runes, ultra high value. All in all, I think I should have taken unflinching in the resolve tree and arguably even tenacity in the precision tree because they had so much CC. Also should have gone for flash since they had the Jarvan cage. Other than that, it was a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.